Well, bless God, we're talking about the miracles of Jesus. Matthew chapter 9 and verse number 8. When the crowd saw that this man who was paralyzed all his life, that he was healed, they were afraid. They glorified God. I mean, the fear of God fell upon them. They began to worship. They began to, because they saw a miracle. This is tangible evidence to the powers of demonstration of the power of God. And the same one, Jesus, who uh, brought healing to this man, he's saying, I am able to forgive sins. They glorify God who had given such authority to men. Thank God that he empowers men and women. Even today, he anoints them with the Holy Spirit, the power of the Holy Spirit to preach the gospel, to teach the word of God, to work miracles, to bring healing, to bring deliverance, to bring victory into the lives of men and women held under the bondage of sin, Satan, and the world. Jesus changes lives. He is real. He is still working today all over the world. Jesus is at work. So let's go on. The Bible says, Jesus passed on from there and he saw a man called Matthew sitting at a, the, the tax booth. This is the same Matthew who um, wrote this gospel of Matthew. He was a tax collector. The Bible says, he said to him, follow me. And he rose and followed him. Matthew got up. Now Matthew must have heard something. Just, this was his first engagement with Jesus or hearing about Jesus. He must have been following the news, hearing everything. Maybe he had some kind of a religious background and knowledge of the, the Old Testament scriptures. So when Jesus said, follow me, something um, stirred up within his heart. He rose up. The Bible says he followed Jesus. And Jesus is calling many men and women today all over the world. He's saying, come follow me. Come follow me. I'm glad I answered that call because it is a life-changing call but there are many who would refuse they would turn their backs on god turn their back or they may say leave it for another time they procrastinate not knowing that that's one of the oldest tricks of satan let it go not now when i'm older when i'm older and it never happens and they are consigning themselves to um, an eternal destiny away from god so when jesus calls you answer he called matthew and Matthew answered, he rose and followed him. And I pray today that um, if you're listening to this and you haven't made that decision to make Jesus your Lord, your Savior, to believe on the God, the true and the living God, and surrender your life to him, you will make that decision. Matthew rose up. He was a tax collector. He was one who was looked down upon in society. They were not well respected. Um, they were ill spoken of. In the society at that time because they were collecting taxes for the Romans. But he responded to Jesus and Jesus is calling today.